welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> Senta moves first. Isn't that the truth? Uh, I should learn this truth. Alright, here we go. Interesting. I had a similar tactic the other day. And I decided against it, because this didn't look convincing enough after the Rook-Bishop exchange back. <laughs> Actually, the <laughs> habits die hard. I should have dropped the rook here. Oh my goodness. I would have had a dragon already. I'm not sure that it matters, though, because the dragon doesn't belong down here. Um. Yeah. Anywho. Um. That's an interesting move. So, I threaten various attacking possibilities. My opponent was threatening my lance, so I've cut off that attack. But next I could bring up the silver and push this pawn. I'm still threatening to promote the rook. But yeah, this should be a dragon by now if I just dropped it on the right square. Oh, but if I dropped it on the right square, then I drop a pawn and I don't get this back. Never mind. Never mind. We did it right. Things get complicated if we drop in the enemy camp. We kept things simple. And this seems fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Uh, the opponent has a rook. Maybe I'm missing something here. So this knight is prone, but I don't want to... Well, my wants are not the only wants here. My opponent also wants things. What they want, I'm not sure of. Um, I guess they want a gold general. They can have a gold general. That's okay. I don't think they predicted this. I'm in 
check. Okay, I'm verify my overlay looks okay. That's good. Hopefully my mic's on. Uh-huh. I'm still not seeing how they escaped this in one piece. Okay, that hits this pawn. Um, oh, they intend to drop here next, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And this would almost escape their rook. Um... So I defend my pawn. I'm threatening a pawn drop next. It would be great if I could drop a bishop to collect this. However, there's just not a fork for it. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take this now. Um, oh, I don't have a pawn. Nanafun. Hmm. This is one way to try to remove the invader. I should have just run my king out of this space. Um, there wasn't any need for me to try to attack this directly. Okay. Um... Nope. Let's not give them free tempo after free tempo here. I think that works. Thanks for the game. Tough break. Super tough break. Very trappy opening. Sorry about that. Good luck. Hmm. Um, this is what I usually play here. Okay, what do I usually do here? It's not bishop up, is it? I don't remember how this goes. Why can I never remember this one? All right, we're bailing out with this, which Geeko has at least once recommended. It's not the right way to handle this. There is a better way, I just don't remember what the better way is. Oh, fun! 
I forgot about that one. Hey, look! We're getting to play an imbalanced strategy today. It's fine. Somehow. That feels obvious in retrospect. Whatever. Um, I'm trying to hit this pawn. It seems like maybe not the world's best objective. Um, there we go. I guess they just bring up the Rook, and that deals with my shenanigans entirely. Uh, we're getting to a phase where, you know, I need to actually start remembering the openings. Or things just get immensely difficult. So it'd be better if I were just to remember them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a free rook. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks for the game. Well played. Sorry. I spaced out there. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Yeah, one thing that helps with learning openings is having a repertoire. Where you play um, similar moves each game. Not always the same moves, but something that looks familiar each time. So I was intending to divert my bishop this way. It's apparently not working out that way. Um, I'm trying to figure out some plan B. Hmm. Curious. Fine. I'll move the silver. This tends to lend itself to all manner of tactics, but there it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> don't do that. Don't try that at home. Uh, okay. Well, the only way they can defend this is by bringing out the knight. But we all know that bringing a knight out early just makes it a target. 
Myself included, I know this, but I'm playing this anyway because it looks fun. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, there is another way they can defend that. Well, that's going to hurt. Um... Um, hmm. This blocks my rook, but an exchange could make my attack one move faster if everything works out. We'll find another way for my bishop to be useful. So this becomes a target unless the silver retreats. If the silver retreats, then everything starts collapsing. So, yeah, this is a target. What? This bishop... Okay, the silver does retreat. So I can take here. Is it smart to take there? Maybe. Probably not. But when have I done smart things? Okay, that's a free move. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, we're seeing both players do some extremely weird things this game. Um, this defends this point. So this has the idea... Oh, this actually defends my bishop's head. This does something different than what I was thinking. Well, that's fine. Everything's on fire. Okay, my opponent offers a pawn. Who am I to say no? Okay. Hmm. I'm sensing that they probably could have just dropped a pawn somewhere and the attack would have been just as effective. Maybe more effective. Um, but okay. I'll try it this way. My bishop supports a silver, which is about to hit here. But their bishop has nowhere to escape to. Okay. Oh, this is winning a tempo. And cutting off my tactic. Very clever. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's fine. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Here we go. That's... I would expect the drop here. I'm not sure. Oh, this just blocks my attack directly. Okay. Um, interesting. Let's activate my bishop. 
their bishop, I guess, could run away toward the castle. Um, but my attack just... Well, my attack does slow down, doesn't it? Hmm. I mean, yeah, if they had a pawn, they'd be able to do better repelling my attack, but they don't need it. Um, so the knight is stuck. Well, they could try to pawn it out for a bishop. This is weird. My rook has the third file under control. And if I lose the third file, bad stuff happens very quickly. But as long as I control file three, it's okay. Um, do I take the rook? Do I get enough of an initiative for my bishop? Maybe. No. Not even close. So, the rook's still a target. Yeah, and I have to keep this together. Mm -hmm. Oh. I thought this was working differently. It's not. Oops. Um, well, no, maybe it's fine. This is sharp. Um, hmm. Oh, if they take this pawn, they're threatening to drop the pawn. This attack is more severe than I imagined it to be. Um. Go Yeah, this ain't good. Here goes nothing. <laughs> ah, this is bad. <laughs> it's still fun. Um, well, I guess if they do... Uh, I was debating some kind of sacrifices here. Or if I take this and they take my rook. Well, they take all my pieces, but I get an attack. Um, okay, so they broke up their castle willingly. Which I'm fine with. Um, that gives me a target here. Basically, I'm trying to invade with my rook in a line where the rook's very unlikely to have much of an impact, but I have to try something. Oh, I could promote here with the lance. Uh, then my rook gets trapped. But what, what could follow is if I bring my rook over, um, they could trap my rook. Or this exchange is offered. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Why are they offering this? I shouldn't object. Yeah, they want to check across the rank. Yeah, I'm a bit sensitive to this lateral check. But it's fine. The other problem is that my bishop is... All these pieces are just floating. This attack is not going to last very long. But if I can collect multiple pieces for the bishop, then maybe it's okay. What's our next proverb? Oh. Yeah, if you have the gold on top of the silver, there's bound to be bound to be trouble. Mm -hmm. Um. Wait, wait, wait. This would be check. Uh this is not good. I have to let the check happen, and then they can take my bishop. I don't... well, I'm sorry. They have to take the bishop first, actually, because the bishop protects the checking square. Um, but yeah, this is... this is awkward. Everything be hanging, yo. I have no idea what's happening, but I know my silver's hanging if I don't do this. So we're going to hang it in style. Mm hmm. And then not lose the bishop for nothing. And then not lose the knight for nothing. But my dragon gets picked off, but my dragon's walled off anyway. Yeah, it's fine. I cut off your bishop. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, attack toward the king, but also toward the silver. The opponent defends both threats, or at least tries to. Another threat emerges. Oh, I dropped my dragon. Hmm. I don't like it when I drop my dragon for nothing. All right, three games down. That was good fun, wasn't it? I hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.